Big 90. Our podcast is all about soccer, all things soccer. Soccer has arrived in town. We are ready to fight. They're classy too, man. I can wear this on a date. <laughs> People who are most successful are the ones who don't just give up. We have officially partnered up with Albemarle Paper Supply. Albemarle Paper Supply services paper products within the cities of Charlotte, Concord, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, Salisbury, Morrisville, and smaller cities in between. From fiber, plastic, and foam bowls, paper towels, tissues, napkins, takeout containers, gloves, to janitorial supplies, and much, much more, Albemarle Paper is dedicated to bring you the paper goods you need. Customers can pick up products directly at Albemarle Paper's warehouse located at 735 Henson Street in Albemarle, North Carolina, or products can be delivered to you at your business doorstep. Um, so, of, of course, we, we play football because we want to win. Uh, but today, I believe that I, I am the, the happiest coach in the world. Uh, it was amazing. I cannot, I, I cannot describe with words the energy. And I would like to thank everyone that joined us in this party because it really was a party. If we will win, maybe we will continue the party now. <laughs> but, but we cannot party. Uh, thank you, North Carolina, South Carolina, Charlotte, uh, everyone that came today. And one request. Uh, I would like to see them back in the next game. Uh, because they will enjoy. And these players deserved by the, the, the job that they do every day, these people supporting and this energy. You know? and, and I believe that they can feel proud today uh, because we were most of the time better than LA that is multiple champion, top players. And we were, I mean, the second half, we were much, much better. And, and until the end, you know, with the, the last chance, we, we had the, the possibility to score. But I'm very happy, very happy. Um, I mean, I, I feel the players and myself like more mature every game. Uh, and against DC, we were dying physically, uh, tactically, technically in the last 15, 20 minutes. And today, it didn't happen to us. We were able to fix the game, pushing and uh, going forward and trying to score. So for me, this is a big, big step. And also the suffer capacity, I don't know if I'm correct, the capacity to suffer. So when we are not, in the first half, in some moments that they were better than us because they have very good players, you know, and technically they are top, we were able to suffer. And we kept fighting and running, so this is so important. Uh, Fuchs told me that it was a penalty. He said it was? Yeah, he told me that he, he, he pushed him and, and for him it was a penalty. But I mean, this is something that I never speak about, you know. I, I don't waste my time talking about the referees. Uh, but what I don't like is to misrespect and how, how he talked to our players. No? And I will say here that when Carol got kicked, in the first half, he went to him and said, you want to play or you want to go to the hospital? I, I believe this is not the way to speak to a, a, any player. Uh, so, regarding your, your second question, uh, I spoke with them now that 
if we are able to compete until the end uh, with these big clubs that we are facing now at the beginning of the, of the season, um, we have the most important. I mean, we have the base to build from now. And in one moment, I believe the, the, the scores uh, will, will arrive for us. And you saw the performance of Ben Bender is 2001 and Chris Hager is 2002. They are boys still. And we are playing against men. And they are playing for the first time in professional football. And you saw the performance, how they are, they have the talent to do it. Of course now they are frustrated because they, they want to win, they are winners. But you see the response on the pitch. They were not, you know. Uh, I believe also the environment of the college with you know with a lot of fans and people around help them, you know, to like coach them for a, something like that. Finally, it's a game. I mean, I mean, if they have, we were talking about this before the game. If we are focusing the game, nothing else. The people will help you to you know to go to go to go to go forward. And finally, Ben and Chris were aggressive, going forward, trying to unbalance because of the people, because they felt the, the, the energy and the... So, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy. And I, I know that now they are around the MLS signing players and all this, but finally, it's Charlotte FC giving the chance for these young players to play in MLS. Argentinians say hierarchia, uh, quality of the players. I mean, I, I saw always Real Madrid playing back Benzema in one moment, and that's why you need to pay this. <laughs> so this uh, costs a lot of money, but is the, I mean, you have this in the game, but in one moment, they can unbalance like that. They can, they can create something. But, I mean, Chicharito, for example, they didn't score, but he pushed our center backs until, you know, the, the, their limits. And they were to be, to, to be concentrated and focused and be a little bit before uh, to not be late with him. So, I mean, but very proud of, of especially Fuchs, Makum, uh, Jalen and, and, and Kuruho, yeah, that they did amazing. Um, I think it's a little bit of both, but I think more kind of design because that, you know, we want that first 10, 15 minutes, especially at home, we want to kind of be direct and kind of, you know, have our good pressure that we usually have and, you know, with our structure a little bit our defensively and, you know, we want to kind of pin them into their end a little bit and, you know, for the first 10, 15 minutes and then, at some point they're gonna back off and then we're gonna, you know, hopefully, you know, start to play out like we usually do. Uh, it was unbelievable, I'll tell you what. Um, I was just telling, you know, one of the guys, like what hyped me up the most was the national anthem that everybody was singing. Um, that's just when it kind of really hit me that like, you know, this is it, this is what I've been working for, like for something my whole life. and. It's it's an unremarkable you know thing in my life that you know I come across and I feel like I accomplished it now and hopefully we can just kind of build from this. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing coming off this game. Obviously, it it, it sucks to lose and I, I hate to lose, but at the same time I'm so so proud like of us how we played. Like I think overall, I think especially defensively, like you said, like. I'm so proud of how we played defensively. Like we, we had a bunch of blocks, like you said, Clean had a great couple of saves, and I think everyone just kind of like defensively was on the same page today, which is really good. Um, at the same time, you know, like we, we still had offensive chances too that were really good. Um, obviously, do we want to you know score those kind of chances? Of course, but us just starting up now, I think it just gives us some time, and I think once we get you know through halfway through the season, I mean, look. I think we're being a really, really good team. Uh, 
yeah, first of all, that this that was probably the you know the kind of best game to be a part of. I've been I've been part of like my entire life. Um, and, you know, like you know, before walking off the pitch, you know, I kind of sat right in the middle of midfield, and I was just trying to soak it all in. Like, you know, I was picturing myself like, you know, seven eight years ago, um, kind of in the nosebleeds watching Panthers games and you know countless. Uh, ICC games in the summer, the European teams, and you know now that I'm that person on the field, uh, it, it was just unbelievable, and you know that's just why I'm just so proud of you know, myself, um, you know, to be here, and I'm so proud of the team and how we played, and uh, it was just it was just a great night, and you know like one of the best nights of my life to be honest with you. Uh, I would tell you. If you ask me that same question in preseason, I'd be a little bit nervous, uh, just because it was just so new. And I think if you ask anybody else in preseason, it'd probably be the same way. But uh, now that we're kind of you know getting our groove on, kind of getting that daily routine of you know his kind of structure and play style, uh, I feel very very comfortable now. And I'm sure all the rest of the guys feel the same way. And you know I think at some point if you know it's just kind of repetition, and I think if you keep doing it kind of over and over again in training and. And same thing if we keep these keep these performances up every single game. Um, yeah, I just think going forward we'll just be a really, really, really good team. Uh, I can say what I said uh, before maybe two, three weeks of press conference that uh, for us is the most difficult now of time because we cannot show our 100% quality because we need time and these fans deserve that we today that we win like 3-0 and that we kill this LA Galaxy mm -hmm. but in in this moment we cannot show this we can be competitive with them uh, it can decide one goal for them or for us but uh, in this moment is very difficult that we will kill somebody like 3-0 and that you will because for me we control the game all, all game they didn't have like more possession they had a little bit more uh, uh, chances but this is about these connections because this these guys play maybe two three years together and then you you, you saw this on the pitch immediately when they pass when they move that uh, this is a this is a really good connection we need this but we have quality for uh, for